Some people like football and baseball, others like basketball and lacrosse, but it's safe to say there's one sport that's a winner with everyone. Once again, from Long Island, here's CJ Papa. Miller Place is a school that is familiar with producing championship teams, and for one night only, dodgeball. The excitement, the energy, it's like, it's one of the highlights of the year. You know, senior year, it's my last year. I came to it last year, wasn't able to participate in it. I'm really looking forward this year to playing dodgeball. It's awesome. It's always great to have a team together. I mean, once we heard about it, we were the first, we were the first ones in trying to get a team together. And it's just a lot of fun to play with your friends on a Friday night after school. One, two, three, together! How much anticipation was there for tonight? Oh my god. People were going crazy all week. It's intimidating because a lot of the guys are bigger than us. We're one of the only girl teams, so it's pretty intense. And you know, in the hallways and stuff, you definitely get heckled a little bit, but you know. It's, we just take it and we'll show them on the court. This is a yearly event with the proceeds going to the Christmas Magic Foundation, which provides holiday gifts for children living in shelters. And even though they are having a great time playing dodgeball, these teenagers understand that they are lending a helping hand to families in crisis. Kids who can't have a good holiday like we have, you know, it's, it's good for them to, to experience things like this, especially come here and watch. They're going to have a good holidays like we want them to have. And by doing this, it's fun and it's going to give them a good holiday. It's raising money. Uh, we do it for our school all the time and it's a big deal in our school. So it feels like awesome that the whole community comes out and supports us and everyone brings baked goods and stuff and it's just like a big community thing. We have great students here in the high school and, and all the kids that are part of Varsity Club and participating in this event know the real meaning of what this is about and they get to have a little bit of fun while doing it at the same time. The kids also have to find a sponsor for their team. Then they pick colors for their uniforms and some went a step further. I had the stuff in here from football. Uh, football ended a couple weeks ago but I guess I brought my goggles at the school one day, and it just, I just found them and I decided to wear them. The kids had a lot of fun throwing dodgeballs at each other. It made a lot of sense that they didn't throw any dodgeballs at their teacher. But what about an MSG varsity reporter caught in the crosshairs? Not in the face! Ow. Oh, that hurt. Thanks for taking one for the team, CJ. Moving to Westchester and the ladies. Just five miles and a couple of pretty windy roads separate Walter Pattis and Putnam Valley High School. Putt Valley coming off a win over Dover in the second round of the Beacon Tourney this past weekend. Now let's find out who would take the latest edition of this northern Westchester slash Putnam County rivalry. Off the inbounds, Walter Pattis, Anna Jessic goes with the lefty lay-in. Jessic got 10 points. Putnam Valley ball, they're in the blue jerseys. Ashley Marks to Amanda DeChent, one of her four trifectas. Good for 18 points. Putnam Valley, great ball movement. It ends up in the hand of Caroline Krobolf. Putnam Valley beats Pattis 44-35. Over to Croton Harmon High School, where Pauling in the black jerseys is in town. Pauling off to a great 3-0 start. Croton Harmon, the miss, but Ali Tumman there for the putback. She had 16 points. Now, this is just great rebounding. Pauling gets it into transition, quickly up the floor to Margot Hackett. Hackett, the coach's daughter, at 28 points. That's a pretty good performance. Croton Harmon ball, they swing it. Sarah Costa, the friendly roll at home. Too much Hackett, though, on this one, as Hackett and Pauling get the win by 10, 46-36. Rolling along on the deck. Time for some bowling on Long Island, Oceanside, and Lawrence. Andrew Massimillo rolled the 204 for Oceanside. Meanwhile, for Lawrence, John Furstein rolled a 267 as part of a 721 series. That's pretty nasty. Lawrence takes this one 2-1 to, one to win their season opener. Oceanside drops to 1-1 one one on the early part of the season. Now, let's take a trip on the Sunrise Highway going a little west. Nassau County staying there, though. Malvern and Blue against Roosevelt. Roosevelt keeps it close in the first game, but Malvern was too much behind Jonathan Kalejas. Kalejas led Mal Malvern with a high game of 2-11 and a 5-31 series. Malvern wins 3-0. 
Jared Greenberg girls hoops. Solomon Schechter hosting Waldorf. We pick it up in the second quarter. And Schechter was dominant. Eliana Goodman to Danny Crystal for two. Schechter outscores Waldorf 11-2 in the quarter and took a 21-8 lead into the break. Waldorf coach Paul Lassure trying to rally his girls for the second half. And he did. Waldorf came out on fire. Abby Lyons cross court to Olivia P.M. Waldorf outscores Schechter 13-2 in the third quarter. But Schechter wasn't done. Amelia Bayarf. Tick tock goes the clock. Give her the three before the buzzer and the party don't start till she walks in. It's I funny. gotta sing I, that. I've never Schechter heard that wins. before. 38 to 28. I love singing this.